Here's your forecast from the First Alert Weather Team. Welcoming you into the First Alert Forecast Center here at 1217. And we're thinking about time in terms of this weekend. It's doing some big things, falling back. So before you go to bed Saturday, any clocks that need a little extra help that don't auto update, set them back one hour. Functionally, you can get that extra hour for sleeping Saturday night, you know, that kind of thing or whatever you want to do with it. It's also a great time to check any carbon monoxide and smoke detector batteries. You notice their sunrise and sunset assembly shifted between Saturday and Sunday. A little more daylight for the morning people, but that sunset, that's the really noticeable thing. It gets really close in just after 5 p.m. on Sunday. So that's coming in case it's not already on your radar. Clouds have been parting and they'll continue that clearing process into tonight. May rethicken at times late tonight into tomorrow. We've got these Really low shower chances back with us after some patchy rain yesterday and temperatures in your TTT today, tonight, tomorrow forecast making moves generally topping in the lower 70s today. We'll talk at the middle and upper 70s tomorrow. Here's a 4 p.m. view and we won't just park it there. We'll go forward with your Cape Fear cloud and future radar model into 4 p.m. tomorrow. There's a little resurgence of cloud cover, but future radar stays quiet except for off the coast. A little bit more of a generous distribution of showers there. It's 1219. We get a look outside with a uh, sunny enough view from Oliver's on the Cape Fear, Southport to Oak Island Light and Caswell Beach. Clouds a little more congested yet over the port city, but the rays are coming through. Let's be fair about that. It's 67 degrees officially in Wilmington with a double digit miles an hour northeast breeze. We'll have that for much of the afternoon. And the dew point is a crisp fallish 46. Those dew points will be coming up as the week progresses. Temperatures all over the map in the middle and upper 60s here at lunchtime. This is a jump over yesterday when we had thicker cloud cover and also some showers on your first alert live radar. We do not have that this afternoon. Let's use our satellite product and let's take a jet all the way to the south end of the Caribbean Sea. Talking tropics, some thunderstorms trying their best to congeal north of Panama, Costa Rica and Colombia. The possible development zone uh, shaded on your screen here in the Caribbean uh, to the tune of medium odds over the next seven days. Nothing getting going over the next two days as far as the next Atlantic Basin tropical system. So medium odds over seven days. That just means we need time to watch it and we sure will. Your seven day forecast here at home keeps those temperatures rolling as we talked about in first forecast perking up toward or into the lower 80s for the likes of Wednesday and Halloween. Flip the calendar to November. It doesn't matter. Time change weekend election Tuesday comfortably within that 10 day forecast. Warmer than average signals, Kim, to the tune of about five to 10 degrees above that average. Back to you.